Here we are on the west coast of Vancouver Island. We're going to launch at Gold River and sail down the Mushlet Inlet. That's the plan, anyway. So the first night we stayed over at McCurdy Creek. Even though there was frost on the deck in the morning, it was quite cozy during the night in the boat. The Mushlet Inlet is about 20 miles long, so it was sure nice to get an outflow wind to get going. Here we went past Radar's place. He's the local beachcomber. We stopped at Euston River and boiled up a couple cackleberries and uh, Tina went for a walk on the beach. Here we have Arbutus trees growing. They only grow on the sunny side of the inlet. Things were going good until we ran out of wind and I couldn't get the kicker going. But as luck would have it, Murray McMillan showed up and lent me his kicker. Here we have a fish farm where they grow Atlantic salmon. There's four or five of these things out here. Well, here we are at Galliano Bay. This is where we tied up for a while to wait out a rainstorm that hit. Richard Parks has a great little cabin there. Tina just loved it. several cabins and lodges in Galliano Bay. Turned out there was water in the gas so I had both kickers to fix up. I fried up some venison sausages there. Time to dig out the chart and look to see where a good spot to put the prawn traps out is. Now it's time to go out and check the traps to see uh, what they produced. Well, they came back with a few prawns and a bundle of little rockfish there. Tina wants to have a, a bite. <laughs> she loves fish. The next day, Tina and I, we headed out into Nootka Sound to see if we could find some wind. This is a place they call Hole in the Wall. There's a few cabins in there. And then we stopped here at uh, Critter Cove. Critter Cove is pretty active when the salmon are running, but this is the off season. They use a boiler from an old steam donkey to burn their garbage in. Joe Yateman is the watchman. They call him the bird man of Nootka Sound. Joe sure has a nice view out front. We were going to come back and watch the hockey game with Joe and spend the night, but uh, the wind came up so strong that we couldn't get back. We had to spend the night again at Galliano Bay.
The next morning we left Galliano Bay and headed for Mushlet Inlet, back to Gold River. Camel Rock, so we got about 15 more miles to go. This is the old pulp mill. They're talking about making it into some kind of a power plant. Here we are, not far and we'll be on the boat ramp. We were gone four nights altogether.